you don't watch that. Watch this. This is the heavy, heavy monster sound. The nuttiest sound around. So if you're coming off the street and you're beginning to feel the heat, well, listen, Buster, you better start to move your feet to the rockin'est, rock steady beat of madness. One step beyond. That you live your life, your choice. Unmute. Uh -uh. Let's get bed music and. Come on. Swear with this shit. Wait. There we go. Back this up, and we are live. Okay, bootleg fishing are live. Welcome. Hi, James. Welcome to James. Welcome to everybody. Um, this is Mike here, and I also have another guest host. Would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, yeah. Hi, again, this is Cat Sue over here in Canada. Awesome. How's it going? How's everything in Canada? Oh, it's okay. Uh, the weather really shifted between yesterday and today. Uh, so everybody passed out with the barometer change, and now it's cold again, so that's that's lovely. Yeah, the uh, rain is still gloomy over here, too. Oh. But it's okay, you know. I went out last night, um, actually got drinks and tacos at, nice. an outdoor, at an outdoor bar. So it was fun. Well, it looks like we do have another co-host. I just sent them the wrong link. <laughs> awesome. Who do we got? What are you trying here? Uh, oh, hey, Rebecca Brand just subscribed to me on YouTube. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nice. Whoa. Thanks. Thanks, Messy Becky. Wow. Aww. No way. Hey, look, she's in the chat. No, no way. Oh, awesome. Hi, Rebecca <laughs> Brand. We Rebecca love you. Brand. 
Right oh, this is amazing. Heart, heart, heart. But yeah, so we have Cat Soup joining us today. My name is Mike. This is Bootleg Fish and Live. You guys can email us at bootlegfishandalive at gmail.com or call in 424-260-6977. Let's take a look at the scoreboard, shall we? Hmm. <clears throat> um, let me bring it up for you too. Still have a tie for second, I believe. I believe so. Yes. Uh, um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I got the scoreboard up for you right there. So it looks like uh, first place we have Hot Steve with 59 points, and second place a tie between uh, Slump and Slider for 44. And, uh, oh, hello, H I H J J H J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J why is everybody in the chat? That okay? Hi. <laughs> we were popular. See, we have people now watching us. I was just <laughs> my new co-host. We're the way to go. See, I got, got co-host. We got stuff going on. <laughs> There's fish. I got games to play. We ready. <laughs> Let's ride. You're right, DJ SFU. All the cool people are here today. <laughs> um, and in third place, we have Mimosa with 40 points. Um, if you guys would like to call in. And play some games, you can. 424 260 6977. You can also email us at live at gmail.com or follow us on Instagram at bootlegfishcenterlive. Uh, I believe there's a Twitter too. I don't know who runs the Twitter, I just know it exists. <laughs> yes. So uh, if anybody out there, if any of my loyal viewers would like to um, <laughs> let me know who runs the Twitter, <laughs> uh, it's pronounced Vincent, by the way. Oh, okay. No worries. Hi, Vincent. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Excellent. Sorry, I've just never seen Vincent spelled that way. So, like, yeah, yeah it's, it's a, cool. It's a Gaelic cool. pronunciation. Yeah. And uh, what is it? Uh, uh, is it Welsh? What's the one that? Is it Wales? Yeah, right. Isn't that the one? Yeah, that, like, like Welsh. The, yeah, like all this freaks. has like no no consonants except for Y and something else, right? Like actually very confusing yeah it's really confusing i don't know i don't know how to speak welsh or gaelic uh but anyways thank you everybody for watching um i would like to appreciate all of our new viewers you are both the premier fish show on the internet of course there are people in chat for this boom i do not agree with slider all day though i don't like that guy at all hamburger main man says horoscope radio i'm i thank you kiki for uh, watching. That's awesome. Thank you for actually <laughs> <coming in. laughs> Beautiful. So yeah, there you go. We got uh, some fish. We got some games. We got stuff going on. Um, there is the hot topic of the day, though. What do we have the today? Topic, yeah, the hot topic yesterday was what was your favorite gas station food? Um, oh, and the hot topic for today is if you could eat what, if you were forced to eat one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? Hmm. I'm going to put it in the chat right now. Damn. Perfect. So, if you were forced to eat one food for the rest of your life, mm. what would it be? Uh, well, there's only one real good answer because it's like, you know, the, the food of Earth. It's it's pizza. It's got to be the pizza. entire... <laughs> <laughs> concept of pizza you know every kind there ever was pizza pizza's a solid choice i mean like i could literally eat pizza every day you can make it all out of vegetables you could make it all out of you know this and that pizza is a solid choice but you get burned out of pizza after like the second day of eating pizza like i think if i ate pizza, if i tried to do the papa john's thing you know, where you eat 40, 30 pizzas in 30 days. <laughs> you know, and that and by eating that many, you can find out if the quality has gone down. Um, 
That's true. No. You know, you can just outfit it with just vegetables, just meats, just this food. Put I've seen sushi on a pizza. That was disgusting. But yeah. That's true. Pizza is very versatile. You could literally put anything on a pizza. They have fish pizzas. They have, you know, they have like crab pizza. Yeah, I think James does have it on this one. Rice. Rice or burritos? Hmm. I could probably eat burrito every day. Like, one, just like for the rest of my life, it was just burritos. That would not be too bad. Like, I think yeah. I could do that. Any food that kind of encompasses all of the foods. Yeah, like rice for sure. Like, if I had, I could probably just do rice every day. Like, it's probably not good. Like, I'd probably do like brown rice or something to like switch it up just because I didn't want to like have nothing but, you know, white rice. Like, that, that does get boring. <laughs> yeah, at least make soy sauce or something with it. <sighs> Eventually just becoming one large, you know, gelatinous grease. That's it. <laughs> as greasy as Papa John's got after oh eating two weeks of pizza. <laughs> Nasty. I knew he was bullshitting. I knew Papa John's was bullshitting when he was like, yeah, I ate 40 pizzas in 30 days. What was he even <laughs> on? What is he talking about? Like, why yeah. are you... Why are you not 200 pounds? <laughs> what does he mean by that? What message was he trying to tell us? Oh. I don't know. You know, it was a very, it was a very, like, odd thing for him to just, like, come out and be, like, trying to flex on how many pizzas he's eaten. <laughs> and in that time, since I've lost my entire company, I have tried to stop saying the end word. I, yeah, I hate exactly. that. <laughs> really, really trying hard <laughs> not to be a racist. <laughs> So I'm just gonna gorge myself on pizza. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, Papa John, you crazy guy. Pretty much no contest to just, you know, amalgam foods, just all of it. Yeah. I mean like, yeah, I could I could easily do rice. Rice is rice sounds okay. I could I could rice it up for the rest of my life. Rice it up. I think we're ready for round one. <laughs> Sounds good, man. <laughs> Holy crap. Are you ready for round one? Uh, yes, I am. <coughs> um, sorry for coughing. Uh, for people who are not familiar with the show, round one is the game of coin quest. Coin quest is where the fish swim around, you <laughs> get coins, you win some coins. You know, it's chill. The round one is a really chill round. It's not so hectic, you know? doesn't ramp up until later in the game mm. but for right now we're just gonna round one in you know we're gonna chill it out play some games let's win some fish fish points fish points um, nude fish compete for coins where nude fish compete for coins <clears throat> all righty um oh, yeah. My first thought to answer this question was pussy. <laughs> Damn. Oh, wow. that's, that's the winner right there. <laughs> well, then. All right. Well played. Well played. <laughs> Not going to give you the necessary nutrients. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Uh, Lactobacillus uh, naturally occurs inside the human vagina. So I, you, you, could, I, oh. you could make sour beer out of that. Hey. I didn't really. <laughs> Uh, alrighty, let's get going. All right, let's get this started. You ready? Yeah. You want to? You want me to count down, or are you gonna count down? It's your turn. All right. All right. I guess it has to be nutrition value in some way. I mean, you, you know, it would be fun. <laughs> let's go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. All and, right. Uh, negative one for cider. Negative one for tea pills. Tea pills, yes. <laughs> no. Negative one mimosa. Oh no! No, 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 no. Oh, there we go. Yeah. All right. Scary. Uh, uh, negative one for swamp. Negative one for slider. Yeah, just negative one for hot seat. Damn. Plus one for Way. Plus one for Greenbird. Plus one for Mimosa. Negative one for Tabitha. 
negative two. Uh, net zero on slider. Plus one on Tabitha, plus one on Greenbird. Plus one on Mosa. Neg one slider. One for Mosa and Tabitha. Neg one for Hot Steve. Negative one for Slider and Mosa, Tabitha, and another for Tabitha. Nothing for Slider. Negative one for Mosa. Oh, that's nothing for Mosa. Damn. Mm. Plus one for slider. Hmm. Have they already been fed? Uh, yeah, Ned was in there earlier cleaning the tank. I have. Picked yeah, yeah. Up. And Nobody that's about anything. Tank that's about wait at the end. Mm, nice. Yeah. Boom. Okay, so let's adjust these scores. <clears throat> let's see, Greenberg got two points. I'm not going to allow this fish to win. It's not allowed. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hi. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Not Who's much. Would you like to introduce yourself? I'm Kimmy, and I have the wrong link. But <gasps> hello. <laughs> hey, Kimmy. Nice this to is, meet you. Uh, this is Cat hey. Soup. Great hello. to meet you. I've never heard of you in my life. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a first time for everything, I guess. <laughs> Nay, three for hot Steve puts into 54. Uh, thank you for joining us today on Bootleg Fish Center Live. You know what? It's so great to be here. Thanks for having me. What are we doing right now? Uh, we just did round one, so <gasps> I'm adjusting the scores. Negative four for Tabitha puts her to negative five. Right on. Two points. It's a good kickoff for the week, right here. Yeah. On a Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I did. I did do it late, but it's we're, we're you know we're getting along. Uh, we're swimming. Two points for slight, or for negative two for bomb, mm -hmm. and then we got two points. Or no, we got three points. So there you go. There are your scores after round one. First place, Hot Steve, fifty-four points. Second place, Slider, forty-six, and then tied oh for third, God. Mimosa and Thwomp with 42 points. Yeah, no, this can't stand. Somebody needs to call in, throw this fish out. Uh, yeah, if you guys would like to call in, please give us a call, 424-260-6977. Uh, you guys can call in and win some points, play some games. We have a whole bunch of different games today. I have fish or cut bait, shorts or no jorts. There is a new round of bumbleberry. Mm. We have fish chico and all sorts of stuff. So yeah, let's get into it. Step up, get stepped up, and get to step it up. Let's step it up. Step, step it up. Get stepped up. <laughs> Good job keeping score despite herky jerky lagging feed. You know, it is bootleg. It's uh, very bootleggy. So, <laughs> no, I can't really. I, I still think I bring a pretty good level of quality considering this is all done very, very haphazardly. <laughs> here, here. Thank you. And on that note, I'm gonna do a bong. <laughs> it's that time of the day, isn't it? It's 2.20. <laughs> yeah, I should join him. <laughs> Ooh. Lovely. <coughs> Oh, oh. So a little Kimmy. ogre to jump start, jump start, kick start the afternoon. You so know Kimmy, um, the hot topic for today is if you were Ooh. forced to eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh, oh, that is so easy. Um, 
I will maybe maybe I'd like to reflect on it just for like one moment. Um, sure, take your time. <sighs> I mean, I say this all the time, but um, I don't know if I could like really do it, but it's gonna have to be. And I'm sure you know exactly what it is. Um, it's gonna be uh, Pat's EU. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, but any option? I mean, can I switch between beef and tofu, or does it have to be just like one? Uh, we got a call. Y'all ready? Oh okay, yeah, here we go. That's okay, <laughs> a great one. Hello, Boot, Bootleg Fishing or Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, this is Vincent calling from Florida. Hi, Vincent. Welcome. Welcome to the program. Oh, Vince. <laughs> what, what, what is Howard's issue with spider? You know, I uh, I don't know why uh, Katsu hates spider. Katsu, would you like to? Because you know, I we lost you know all these great fish, and Slider never did anything for anybody. Nothing. It should have been him. I'm just mad that he's here and everybody else is gone. I just... It's my little personal thing. Correct, correct me if I'm wrong, but the point of the game is to win, correct? The point of the game is to win, yes. And Slider never wins. What is Slider supposed to do for anyone else but kick their ass? <sighs> I, you know, in the realm of bootleg fish in her life, Slider has not won a prime ministership once. <laughs> because of cowards like Katsu, who can... <laughs> Fame in his name. Damn, cold. All right. Look how hard he's working. He's in second place with every, everyone else running against him. Damn it. All right, maybe if you lighten up, up. We'll, we'll give him a chance. chance. Hmm. Well, honestly, I don't care for Hot Steve either. Really, the fish I did not care for lived other than Nemo, Hamburger, and Flump, and that's it. Mm. Unbelievable. I'm old enough to remember I was here when Hot Steve was Lupan the Third. Oh, God. Oh, dang. You didn't even want to play a game. <laughs> oh, I really made him that mad. That was all my fault for okay. Wow. <laughs> hot takes. Hot takes already. Wow. Kevin, coming you out of left field. Thank you, Vincent, for calling. Um, if you would like to, uh, let's, I mean, we can put it to the chat out there. I'm gonna create a I'm gonna create a straw poll right now. Shit. Um, <laughs> is hot is slider a good fish? I'm creating one right now. I mean, I'm sure he means well. You know, he's just is slider he's good. He's consistent, but he's consistently bad. A loser fish. There you go. <laughs> I'm gonna do that right there. Introduction text. Uh, slider is a barred jackknife. <laughs> Who lives at a who never wins fish center? <laughs> <laughs> Terrible fish center. It's not like he's bad. He's just not inherently mm -hmm. amazing, you know. He's loser fish <laughs> or is everyone just a hater? <laughs> 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 I'm just personally salty about Greenbird and Ale, especially. Oh my god, Ale. Oh. I know, I miss Ale a lot. Oh. Y'all are haters. I need a day to cool off. <laughs> oh. uh, voters must vote their name. Create poll. Boom, there it is. Uh, I'm dropping the straw poll in the chat right now. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Gotta go. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Kiki. Thanks, Horoscope Radio. Everybody, too, check out Horoscope Radio's um, live radio program. It's on at 2 a.m. on Fridays, I think. No way. Yeah, they're on Mixer, but they also are, like, actually on, on the radio radio, I think, too. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's pretty dope. Like, it's good yeah, stuff, too. It's all experimental music. I, I've listened to a bunch of them so far at work. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Swapple is in the chat. If you leave, Cat Soup wins. No, stay. <laughs> don't leave. I I don't think Slider's a loser fish. I, don't think <laughs> I think some people, yeah, it's cool, man. That's the whole point of Fish Center is that you pick your fish that you like and you support them. 
you know? You know how to get back to cat soup, Tate, for Slider? You call back in, you play a bunch of games, you push Slider ridiculously forward in the, in the points, and then there you go. Boom, now Slider's a winner. He's no longer a loser. Does that make sense, right? Do you think we should, like, make an OnlyFans account for Slider? No. Only, only for sure. <laughs> Where people could just, like, donate to his cause of Slider? Yeah, I guess. We could do that. If that sounds like something you wish to do, I would not be against it. Maybe all proceeds go do something. Mike Keeping the lights on in this tank. <laughs> Maybe like all cleaning up our oceans. All proceeds go to Mike's pocket. Aww. Oh, sushi. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. So, yeah, we have segments. Um, segments today. Uh, <laughs> I have updates from the tank. Uh, what is the fish in a replay was happening. Um, I have uh, pictures, and we got new stuff going on. Uh, just to let people know, you know, this is still the live tank, and the fish are still alive. I've had people accusatory. Yeah, I've had accusatory people tell me that, uh, you know, because they can't access the fish tank, they think all the fish are dead, Aww. that this is just a um, different footage spliced together from old fish tanks and all this other crap. This is CGI. Uh, yeah, it's CGI. <laughs> <laughs> we, will, we will start, you know, all you uh, guys out there that are just like, you know, conspiracy theorists about Fish Center, I'm going to show you something right now. Look, I'm going to show you, and you guys are going to chill out. And hopefully oh, this will put you at ease. Oh, no. Uh, there you go. See, look, as we put it on screen right now. Oh, wait, I got it. I bought this one. There you go. God damn this shit. <laughs> Not bad. A mask. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> See? So he's there. He was alive. He was cleaning the tank today. He fed the fish. Ned's still there, guys. We still have a caretaker. Oh. Yeah. And so he's still there. Look at his little ninja mask. Goes down and he just disappears. So, yeah, see, Ned's there. We got stuff. He's super he's efficient. He's super, super efficient. old and frail now. What do you mean to Ned? <laughs> <laughs> he's all we got left. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, I was sad. I was really hoping Cho would go by and feed the fish one last time, or at least steal Flump, but he didn't get a chance to do that. So I was hoping. Um, but yeah, see, look, I got. Uh, I will double. I will double the CGI for budget. And <laughs> donate ten dollars. Thank you, Honda. Thank you. The budget. Thank you. Um, if anybody does, uh, there is a way to donate to the Bootleg Fish Center live cause. Just take ten dollars, put it in an unmarked paper bag, and throw it <laughs> under any any off ramp on the one hundred and one freeway. <laughs> oh my God. Someone will be there quickly to assist you. Someone will run out and snag that ten dollars real quick, and then just like be like, "Hey, give that to Mike." <laughs> <laughs> They'll know what you're talking about. And then well, I'll use that to yeah. buy better equipment. Or maybe not. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that was a segment. See, we still have Ned. Ned's there. He's doing stuff. <clears throat> I think we're ready for... What if Ned fell in one day and never came out? You know, <laughs> that tank is big enough to get, could fit more, like two to three people in. It's like the size of a jacuzzi. <laughs> Oh, I think that I know what would actually happen. That's so gross. Yeah. So, like, if he oh. fell in, I mean, we would, they would have to, when you see him clean the tank, he has, like, a little step stool he has to get on in order to reach inside there. So, I guess if somebody did throw him in and then put the tank, and put the lid back on, like, he would subsist in there for a couple of days before having to resort to eat the fish. And then it would be Ned Center Live. It wouldn't be Fish Center Live. No, man. No, no, no. You turn into this, you see the tank feed and it's just Ned just floating kind of like <laughs> most of the tank some parts of him are missing it's really gross Ugh. and then there'll just be this huge controversy about like how did he get in the water tank <laughs> uh, yeah how did he get there I, I mean it would it would like make our 
our show a little bit better because then we could turn into like a serial podcast about true crime. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> we get so many more viewers. Nasty. Dead guy <laughs> Let's go. Um, I'm going to throw money at the people now yelling violently. Give this to oh my Yes, that is exactly how you donate to Bootleg Fish Center Live. Yeah. <laughs> Take a $10 bill, ball it up, and throw it at the, the next person you see on the street. <laughs> <laughs> They'll oh. understand. Or maybe they won't. And if they won't, then just be like, hey, maybe you guys should watch Bootleg Fish Center Live more often. Yeah. Isn't another Hernandez watching the show? What? Since when? A who? Hernandez is 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 popular name. Hmm. hmm. Well, Hondo, yeah. Hmm. Well, Ned, a happy fisherman. Uh, I don't know. Ned is like he is like a fish salesman mainly. I think the only reason he goes and cleans the tank is because when they first bought the fish, they were like, "There's no way we can take care of these fish." Yeah. We get and somebody. They were to right. For us. And then, like, that's why Ned is there doing fish stuff. Because normally he just has his own place out there. What's the, do you remember the name of Ned's place? It's like Aqua Reef or something. Hmm. So Ned is a straight up professional. Ned is a straight up professional. He owns his own aquarium out in Atlanta. Um, that's why he goes and does all that stuff. He was the one who originally sold all the fish to them. He, had, he owns a bunch more fish. Oh, like cool. I think it's aqua. I think it's aqua reef. Let me look it up real quick. Yeah, that's cool. I feel like a lot of people are um, building like custom fake fish tanks in their house. You know, just trying to jazz up your place, make it look pimp. Trying to spruce up your man cave. Get a fish tank. It's true. Um, I wish I had a dope ass fish tank. <laughs> Let's see. The shape of water, but Ned is the girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Ned's the mute, the mute lady. <laughs> he never talks. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, thank you. Pure Reef. Shout out to Pure Reef in uh, Alpharetta, Georgia. Oh, nice. Alpharetta. Uh, Alpharetta, Georgia. It closes at 7 p.m. today, so you guys still have time to talk to Ned. Call oh, him. <laughs> cool. cool. How is Ned in Georgia if he's there right now? What? No, that was... That was <laughs> what? <laughs> no, Ned... Ned was there earlier. He's not there right now. This is live. Ned, He's not. Don't lie. Ned actually has the ability to time travel. I mean, Ned's a mysterious guy. Did you see his little ninja mask? We all got ninja masks on now. <laughs> I feel like a ninja every every chance I get, every time I go out. <laughs> Ken Burns presents Ned. <laughs> An 11 stage documentary about Ned. <laughs> Uh, there was a going deep episode about Ned where they went and they took him, you know, they followed him around with a camera and went through his day-to-day -day life. Just took, you know, hung out with him. Call them. Should I call them? I, I don't want to bug. I don't want to bug businesses. I feel that, like for Fish Center, it was funny because it was like, yeah, they're adult swim. But for me, it's like, I'm like actively, I don't know. Maybe I'll get to talk to Ned. Is that a, should that be a Why, why, why just do it? Give him a call. Give him a call. Let's see. Uh, ask him if he wants to host with us <laughs> for just a brief moment so we can just like get a better, better idea of who Ned is and what's his day to day like, you know? Seven nine. Seven one. I don't want to sound like a creeper. Right, let's see. Uh, Ned probably has gnarly sharks in his house. <laughs> Good afternoon, Good afternoon. Can I help you? Hi. I was wondering if you guys have mimosa wrasses there. Which kind of wrasse? Mimosa. Or oh, mimosa wrasse. Hmm. I don't think so. I, 
I haven't heard of that one. Okay. Uh, I, what kind of brasses do you guys have? So, uh, we have carpenter brasses. Um, we've got the yellow Halicoeris brasses, the Halicoeris Christus. We have the, uh, like I said, the carpenter brass. Um, let's see. Any puffer fish? So there is a dog face puffer here right now. Oh, okay. uh, I'm just seeing carpenter wrasses in, in, in our reef system. Now, as far as uh, the non-reef safe type wrasses, um, let's see. Is there a certain, are you looking for reef safe wrasses? Well, like, okay, so my friends own a fish tank uh, over there in Georgia. They were used to be at the, um, like, the adult swim offices on William Street, and they had these fish that were, I guess, maybe bought from you guys. Um, I don't know if they got them specifically from you, but I was just trying to source where I could get more of the style of the, the, the styles of fish. Mm -hmm. And one of them was oh. a mimosa wrasse. The other one's a long green wrasse. I don't know the name of it. Yeah, but... there is a there is a, gra a wrasse we have here called a green bird wrasse. A green bird wrasse? Yes. Oh, okay. It has a, kind of a big snout on it. They're not yeah. considered reef safe. They're not. But um, the okay. wrasses is a huge family. There's many, many different genera in in that family. So some are reef safe and some are not. But uh, we do get wrasses in pretty regularly. The owners have been out of town, so we haven't had any shipments here the past uh, two Wednesdays. We usually get our shipment on Wednesdays. So um, by middle of next week. We should have a, a quite a few more wrasses in stock, I should think. Okay, but the green bird one is there. What time do you close? We close at seven o'clock. Okay, thanks. And your name? My name is Porter. Okay, thanks, Porter. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, you're welcome. All right, thanks. Bye. Damn. There you go. I don't know if that's Ned's brother or. <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't like a prank call, right? Like, I didn't want to prank him. That wasn't pranky, was it? Yeah, he seemed like way too nice to like just let him get violence. Yeah, I didn't want to prank him. I didn't think that was like pranky. Um, but yeah, he did say that it's a green bird. So there's a the green bird rest. We can buy a green bird. We can buy a green bird. We can buy a green bird. Was it more like Five hundred dollars. I think yeah. Mom was really expensive. So Mom was really expensive and died. But you oh, know. Okay. Pain. Porter. Thanks, Porter. Um yeah, I didn't want to be all uh like prank folly, but there you go. Now at least I know where to source the fish. <laughs> I need to get my own tank. <laughs> When they finally, if they, if they, if AT and T ever shuts me down, I'll be like, Nah, man, this never lives on. Maybe that'll be a going deep. I can go out here to Los Angeles. They have a lot of different, um, like, tropical fish stores. Actually, I didn't want to say anything, but um, I was gonna keep it on the low. I know somebody close to me, um, like in my family that like really likes to co uh, collect, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, different coral reefs. Uh, you could shout out one, uh, shout out my friend. His Instagram is at the coral reefer. Uh, tell him Kimmy G sent you. Yeah. He's one of, he's one of my good friends. Um, totally forgot that he's just super passionate about, um, like really, really, really dope, brightly colored coral reefs and other little small crustaceans and things like that. Yeah, check him out on his IG for sure. Um, yeah, tell him if we can get footage of his tank if he's willing to live stream it. <laughs> oh, for sure. Oh, my. Yeah, you know what? I can't believe that slipped my mind. He would for sure be down. Next. There you go, guys. See? Next season of Fish Center, we got new fish. Um, all right. Also, update in the poll uh, is Slider a loser fish. Uh, three votes for y'all are haters and oh. one vote for loser fish. Nice. <clears throat> Bunch of haters. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, we'll see if, what how Slider does in this next round. 
Uh, let me get Twain Quest up for you. Bam. I have high hopes for Slider one day. You know, all you got to do is just win points from. That is the game. That is Bootleg Fish Center Live. You can call in, sway the course of the show with your uh, decisions and your, you know, executive powers. <laughs> All right, let's do round two. Round two, you got to do it the right way, and I got to put Cotton Eye Joe in here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. There we go. Cotton Eye Joe's running. Who wants to count down? Not me. Kimmy, you still there? Yeah. Can you call? Or can you call? Can you All count? Right, let's do it. Count it down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go. Uh, and ignition. Let's go. Ooh. Ah. Boom. All right. Uh, nig two for Tabitha. Nig one for Slump. Six, plus four one, for one for Mimosa. Five for Tabitha. Negative two for Slider. Negative three for Slider. You said six for Hot Steve? Yeah, it was. I oh, one. it. Neg one for Slump. Neg one for Mimosa. Neg two for Mimosa. Neg one for Slider. Mimosa gets plus one. Slider gets us on negative one for Way, negative one for Tabitha. Plus five for Greenbird. One for Slider. Negative one for Mimosa. Negative one for Tabitha. Plus five for Slider. Plus five for Thump. Plus five for Hot Steve. Plus five for Slider. Negative one for Greenbird. Plus five for Tabitha. Negative one for Tabitha. Plus five for Bijou. Was ridiculous. <laughs> round two is always way more hectic than round one. There's some billion coins and it gets a little difficult sometimes to keep score. But we're there. <clears throat> so here we go. Greenbird. Six points. Put some up to seven. Uh, Hot Steve. Eight points. Sixty-two. Mimosa, four, 46, Tabitha got two points, three, Slider got nine, so 55, uh, so I've got two points. <clears throat> oh, I got negative three. Let's back down to one. And BG got five points. There you go. <clears throat> Round two in the book. Hot and there we have it. 62. Exactly. Second place. Slider, 55, no. third place, Mimosa, 46. Go ahead and give us a call if you guys want, 424-260-6977. Um, now is the time of the part of the show where we reintroduce the host. Uh, my name is Mike. I am your producer slash moderator. Uh, with us, we have two guest hosts. Would you like to introduce yourselves? <clears throat> Uh, this is Cat Soup once again, up in Canada. 
And my name is Kimmy G. Thanks. I'm here from in Los Angeles, California. Nice. <laughs> yep. Uh, it's another. It's not that sunny. It's a gloomy day in LA, but it's nice. <laughs> Uh, Alright, and I think this is the time when we go into uh, our chat game, and we're going to play with our host as well. We're going to do Bumbleberry. Bumbleberry, yay! Here we go. It's a new, fresh Bumbleberry, which there is only one match so far. So, I can go ahead and throw this up for y'all, and you can check it out. <clears throat> so, Bumbleberry is on the screen. Um, yesterday, what was revealed? We have Ned's on the field. And yeah, Ned, Ned is, is shown. Uh, yesterday, what was revealed was that uh, Promises is in A5, and uh, Jeremy Lang, or no, BG was in A1. So, we'll go ahead and start off with the host, Katsu. Would you like to go first in our Bumbleberry? Um, sure, we just have these two revealed. That's that's our whole thing here? Yeah, that's all we got so far, yeah. We have, like, no clues here? Right. Like I said, Bijou is in A1. Promises is in A5. So I would definitely okay. not suggest picking A1 or A5. Hmm. Okay, well then, let's just go out there with B7 and C3. Alright, let's do B7 first. Oh, that's Jeremy Leg. All right. Hmm. So, which is which? Is the other one you said? I said C three. I didn't. Yeah, we don't have. We got promises and bees. All right, let's see. C three. Just totally random. Okay. Top Sander. Of course. So that's one down. All right. But you get two guesses. Um, let's flip one back over. One second. All right. So, what are your other two guesses? <clears throat> C2 and C6. Just absolutely random. Sorry, I'm trying in the chat make Mumbleberry guesses. Uh, oh. That was C2 and what? C2? Uh, D2 and C6. Okay, D2 first. Bam. D2 Ooh. is slump. And C6 is. Oh. Top Xander. Okay. So now, Kimmy, it's your choice. You there? Yeah. Wait, I can't remember which. We just saw that fish. Yeah. Do you uh -huh. remember where it was? Aspen, do you think of her hands? You, you guys can, you know, so group we effort. Just think either C3 or C4 with, yeah, C6. Or I C don't know. Wait, I thought it was C2. Then it's C2. <laughs> C2? Okay. C2. C2. <gasps> no! C6. No! C6. Damn it. And Fuck. C6? Well, yeah. C6 is top gender. Uh, uh, my memory is okay. so okay. You, you get two choices. You get two chances, remember? So I'm gonna C3 flip that one. then and C6. C3. Boom. Ding. Yeah! <laughs> there you go. Which fish you want to give twenty points to? Um, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give points to um my rider Mimosa. Right? Mimosa. Yeah, even though we were 66. talking about that spider, you know, just come on, you, I, I gotta give it up to Mimosa. We'll be doing the. <laughs> <laughs> she got it. Damn. There you go. That puts uh, Mimosa into first place. 56 points. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we got Bumbleberry going on in the chat now. James Breitner guess A2 and C6. Well, C6 is already done, so we're not going to take that one. I'm going to ask him for another guess. What? I'm going to flip over A2 right now, because that's, that's the one that hasn't been done yet. Uh oh. So, A2 is Greenbird. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. I feel like it's on the row of A. 
Who to and what else? I feel Vincent, like... I will get to yours right after. And we have a B4 and a C7, so. Just waiting for James. This is a chat game. Alright, well, James, when you get back to me, we'll flip that one back over. Right oh. now, we're gonna do B4 and C7. Uh, here we go. Well, now we already know what A2 is, though. But we B4. Know. That's slump. Hmm. And C7. Is ale. Oh, ale. Womp, womp, womp. It's okay. Sorry, but thanks for playing. That's Bumbleberry. We got one more guess. Or, uh oh. Put that away. <laughs> that was a free one for everybody out there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, A2 and A6. Let's see. All right. A6. Head slider. A2. That's Greenberg. Oh, it's okay. There's still more. You know, that's where we're getting there. If Bumbleberry is a, it's a game that is already played. You know, everybody plays it. So. Such a hard game to start. It's a hard game to start. Once it gets going, though, you get going. Oh. <clears throat> Ain't that the truth? <laughs> uh, I think we're ready for round three. If y'all are ready for round three. Yeah, we're oh. just doing round three now. That second one was all over the place. Yeah. Alright, who wants to count down? I'll, I'll go. I'll go for it. When do we got? Just go. You ready? Yeah. 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 Uh, ten. Nine. Oh, wait, 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 one second, one second. Do it! Uh -uh. <laughs> I, to get it on. I forgot to put it on screen. <laughs> Hello. Look at that big wall of much. down bites yesterday. That was great. Oh, yeah. I could put I could, I could this back up. One second. Yeah. I like the super dramatic ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a whole bunch of them. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yes. Hello. 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 Fuck yeah. I dare you to stick a chair on the platform. Hello. Hello. All right. Uh, you want to count us down? Go ahead. Memories. All right. Uh, ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one, ignition. Lift up. And we begin. <clears throat> uh, plus five for Tabitha, plus five for Way. Wow, a lot of oh, plus one for slider. Kind of <laughs> sleepy, sleepy round three. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Plus one for mimosa. Plus five for mimosa. Plus one, one for, for slider. Tabitha. Plus five, five for Tabitha. Yeah. Plus one for clump. Plus one for way. Do we have a caller? No, not right now. Hmm. Oh man, I was tripping. <laughs> <laughs> one for Tabitha, one for Slider. Uh, yeah. Plus one for Plump. Plus one for Plump. Plus five for, five Tabitha. for Steven and Tabitha. Oh look, Mimosa's going in the cave. Uh, plus five for Tabs. Plus five for Hot Steve. And that's the buzzer. Oh. There you go. Mm. 
adjusting scores. Greenbird didn't get any points. Hot Steve got 12. Or no, he got. Yeah, he got 12. Uh, only 4. He also got 8 points. Tabs got. 17. Finally, she caught up. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Slider got 15. Blunt got 7 points. <laughs> Boy got 5. And Bijou didn't get any. So, there are your scores. <clears throat> Tied for first, Hot Steve and Mimosa, 74 points. Second place, Slider with 70 points. And in third place, Flump. I, I love the little son of a bitch. Oh. I love it. I, I did the... Um, the Leonardo DiCaprio meme thing the other night because I was watching The, the Shining. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then there's the point, yeah, there's the part in, that's the sound bite that they used to, that they used from on Fish Center whenever they oh. see Swamp. I love the little son of a bitch. And I was like, oh, Swamp. Well. <laughs> that's so good. I'm going to drop the straw poll in the chat again. Is Slider a loser fish? Or y'all haters? <laughs> I'm gonna go with a bunch of. Pe I'm I'm guessing people are hating today. Yeah, maybe. Looping the third with some decent points. Yeah. Okay, so let's no, go hey. back and let's revisit this looping fiasco. Okay. For yeah, the longest time. How much I dislike slider. Yeah. Let's let's um, let's talk about this. So, I have my own. Like, this is partially my fault. <laughs> uh. This is partially my fault because at the time, uh, he was always known as Lupin. Like, Max called him Lupin, or I think Silly named him Lupin, or maybe somebody oh, named him Lupin. All the time. Yeah. And it wasn't until Harrigan was like, uh, he once he read it on Urban Dictionary, Hot Steve. <laughs> oh, oh my God. That was the best. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Jimmy, do you know what a hot Steve is? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> You're familiar with the term? I was born yesterday, Mike. Ooh, okay, no, I'm just asking. I'm just asking. Is that, um, right? no. I just... <sighs> no, is it a flaming hot Steve, or...? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> so, yeah, he, uh, he started calling him Hot Steve, he had a sound bite made for him and all this stuff. <laughs> and because I was a regular, pretty much a regular on Fish Center, I was calling in every, all the time, and they were talking to me. Matt did not like Lupin, no, he didn't. And uh, so that, I was like, can we just end this? And they were like, what do you mean? I'm like, I will play a game right now, and if I win, it's just forever Hot Steve. Or no, it's forever Lupin, and if I lose, it's hot Steve forever and I lost I didn't win and then just forever that was now now he's hot Steve forever oh. and I apologize I'm sorry I did not make him I did not want him to be branded hot Steve for, forever I was fighting for Lupin but uh yeah that was it <laughs> actually hates him yeah hot Steve old hot old hottie Steve <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, if you want to figure out Hot Steve. Yeah, it's, I mean, if you guys want to figure out, uh, you know, Hot Steve's origin, just uh, just go, just go to here. I'll put it in the chat. I'll even <laughs> dictionary it myself. <laughs> oh no! Here we go. Fresh up ruining. I'm assuming. Hot Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Let me drop this in the chat for everybody. There we go. Yeah. 
No way! <laughs> Yo, who dare? Someone here? Somebody's on the tank. Who is there? There. The hell was is that? Joe? I don't You're know. Like cool. Phantom zone. Uh, there you go. The Urban Dictionary is in the chat for anybody who wants to learn the origins of Hot Steve's name. <laughs> uh, disgusting. <laughs> uh, so, uh, we're at the show. We're at the part of the show now where we start to do the plugs. Um, mm -hmm. Do you guys have anything to plug? I have nothing. Kimmy, is there anything you'd like to plug? Yeah, you can you can you can find me somehow one day. One day. <laughs> I told you like you may see me on the news, but it's for good stuff. Okay. <laughs> That's what I would like to be on the news for good stuff. Never bad stuff, but I don't know. What is right. what is life anyway without an Instagram handle? You can find me at <laughs> <laughs> Holla, uh, for sure uh, for I've, me. yeah no worries I want to say uh, everybody check out uh, The Perfect Women is coming back nice on Wednesday April 28th at 7pm at theperfectwomen.biz nice uh, it, they got the rights to their stuff so with no <laughs> no backing no AT&T corporate masters telling them oh, what to do so i think that's cool so i say go watch that shit and uh nick gibbons thing is tomorrow at 5 p.m the topic is pets so you guys should call in and talk to nick because he will be doing his live stream so uh ty's doing his stuff on thursdays and goat versus fish is also doing his stuff on thursday so go check it out on twitch uh <laughs> Anything else I gotta plug? Oh yeah, I'll plug Kiki's Horror Scope Radio again. Everybody go check that out. Fridays 2 a.m. Uh, at Pacific Standard Time. That's when they go live on the radio, or you can check out their broadcasts at mixer.com slash horoscope radio. Uh, I think that's everything. Is there anything else that you would like to leave us on, my excellent co-host? Uh, continue to watch uh, how things are unfolding in Minnesota. I don't know. That's all I got. Yeah, that shit's fucked up. <clears throat> oh, this has been a good one. I like it. Yeah. Uh, Kimmy, is there anything that you would like to leave us on? You know what? I don't know. I think it's just... It's important we should all just be kind to one another. And, you know, remember that everybody's going through something. And don't forget to watch... <laughs> on YouTube. You better like, you better subscribe, you better hit that, you better smash that like button, okay? Big thing. True. Big <laughs> Thanks so much for this, Mike. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. I love you guys. Thanks everybody love for watching. Too. Thanks everybody for shout out to the chat. Uh, James, mm -hmm. Dez, Vincent, Hondo, DJ SFU, Rebecca Brand. Yo! <laughs> I'm so happy, messy Beck. I hope she sends me some. Or I'm gonna just start playing Rebecca Brand skits on the, all the old ones on the show again because <laughs> they're funny. All right. Uh, how do I find Ty's stream? Uh, Hamfreeze, uh, Twitch.tv. Here, I'll just type it in. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there you go. I will catch y'all later, and we will talk to you. I might not go. We might not be live tomorrow, but if not, Friday for sure. So. All there right. You go. See you next we'll talk to y'all later. Have a good day and thanks for everything. Peace out, y'all. Later. Later. Have a good one. Mm.